Have you ever wanted to break the rules? Why, First... Raja? <laughs> but is there anyone you are a little bit scared of? No. 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 And now, a short film by Zwenyuls Wayback, starring Batman, Alfred, and a man with octopus arms. Alfred. Yes, Master Way. What is this Roger Nigelan card? It's his rule breakers card, Master Way. When your father... Enough, Alfred. You're telling me I have to pay 338,000 coins for a card that is a plus 23 total in-game stat upgrade over his base? But Master Wayne... Door opens. Listen, I don't know what you two are talking about. I've been sitting up in the bath hearing you guys complain. This is a plus 23 total in-game stat upgrade, sure. But look at the pace. Alfred, the octopus arms man has a point. Master Wayne, when your father left me in charge of this manor, he said one thing. If a rule breaker's Roger Nigelan ever comes around, you gotta try him out in the game. All right. Now can I get back to my bath? The absolute audacity of you lads! What's happening boys and welcome to the 85 Rule Breakers Raja Nangolan Episodia. A very conflicting card and a sort of conflicting pro uh, promotion uh, given that some of these cards don't go over a hell of a lot in terms of overall in-game, uh, overall stats, uh, in-game stats over their base cards. Uh, you have some exceptions like Harry Kane which completely transforms the card. But I'm going to make an argument today in my most lawyerly, lawyerly bird law way, uh, FIFA bird law way, to make a case for the fact that this 85 Nangalan may not be worth the 338,000 coins, but definitely deserves our attention. And that's what we're going to look at today. Smash like for Raja Nangalan. Smash like for the fact that you can spell the word goal from his name. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, let's just dive right into this way of view. So uh, the, the concept that I have here, you know, I, I, I hear some, yeah, I see some chatter on Footbin, Foothead, and, and Reddit saying, you know, you could just slap a Hunter or Shadow and then get his 83 rated up to the max of 81 sprint speed. This one comes with 85 pace, so it already comes with the 85, 85, uh, the dual 85, 85 sprint speed and acceleration. But the difference here is that you can completely transform this card into a more attacking role. And I would make the argument that the defending stats that this card does have, the 75 interceptions, 72 defensive awareness, 75 standing tackle, and 78 slide tackle. While that is massively downgraded from his base 83, and this is a more attacking version of his card, of course it is, um, I would say that's decent enough and good enough to have him play how I'm going to want to use him in the 4-4-2, and I'll get to that when we get to the formation. And uh, the fact that you have to use the Hunter on the 83, you don't have to use a Hunter chem style to get the pace jacked off even more on this 85. Like I said, it already ships with 85-85. You can use a chem style like a finisher, which I'm going to be doing, which gets the attacking position positioning over 90, gets the finishing over up to 99, gets the shot power to 99, the long shots to 92, but more importantly, we don't have to worry about using a hunter or a shadow or something like that because we can get the dribbling all the way up to 87 and we can get the balance up to 90 as well as the dribbling and uh, the, the, the dribbling stat goes up to, I believe, 99 there and then the rest of them on average are about 87, 86. So a very, very smexy looking card. Um, if you look at these stats here, obviously the downside, three star, three star, but as a midfielder and just as a rule of thumb in FIFA 21, I'm sort of growing, um, I'm sort of growing accustomed to using players that have a three-star, uh, three-star weak foot, namely this guy right here in the form of Paulo Dybala, who we packed on the RTG, has three-star weak foot and is absolutely bossing it out to the tune of, I believe, 18, sorry, 24 goals and 14 assists in 19 matches of weekend league play. Papu Gomez's card is a card, uh, literally I've replicated the exact squad that I'm using on the RTG for weekend league. This is the exact one. Ashraf Hakimi, I have him as my right back. He's been he's been bossing it, and this trio right here—the fact that you can get all of this for about 50 to 60k total—is uh, uh, just pretty incredible. And I'm talking about Manolas Koulibaly uh, and Sirigu, of course. Match number one with 85 rule breakers, uh, Raja Nangolan, Los Gates, or should I say, Fafankul? How do you guys like the revamped stadium? Yeah, completely revamped the stadium. We got no we got we're representing Norway over there. there there's the dribbling. Okay, um, Roger kind of wanted that to go in. There we go, Nangolan. Oh, 
Come on! What is... Auto blocks! Nein, doch mal. Raja Nangolan. With the Hunter, with the Shadow Chemistry style, he goes up to 95 sprint speed, 95 acceleration. And then with the Hunter, he goes up to 95, 95 as well. So you max that out. Yeah, they both do the same thing. Wait, does Catalyst? No, Catalyst does the same thing. Wasn't there a chem style last year that actually, a defensive chem style that actually got you faster than a Hunter? Or no? Am I just, am I imagining that? Bruh. Raja Nangolan flying. And again, one of the one of the one of the key parts of the argument that I'm making, and one of the key parts of the the reason that I love Nangolan. And also, let me let me make this abundantly clear: I love the 93. If you want to spend 4K for the for the 83 rated card, be my guest, man. He's he's been absolutely bossing it out. He's been getting the job done on the uh, on the RTG. But you know, the fastest you can get him is 81, 81 in terms of sprint speed acceleration, which is fine. But um, you have to you have to burn a chem style on that card to get that right. You need to burn either an engine. If on the low side of pace, you have to burn a hunter or a shadow on the high side, and that even max that gets him the max you can jack that off is 8181. This one comes as a base of 85, so you can go ahead and use a, a, a chemistry style like finisher to really unlock the potential of him as an attacking option, which I think um, is especially with the 442 formation is something that I'd be uh, that I'm that I'm interested in doing, which is obviously what I'm doing right now. The peak thing that we've just displayed here is his ability to make that attacking run. And that's exactly what he did. He absolutely burned through the defense, and then we got one-on-one, -on -one and just felt the, the confidence, at least with that right foot, to just blast it through top left, and uh, that's exactly what he did. Raja truly evolving. Uh, Raja has truly evolved into nine goal on. Get out! Good enough! Get out! Dybala. And he sigue con su magia tocando el balón. All right, well, <laughs> that's that's not how that was supposed to go. Namaste, but uh, I will take it. I will freaking take it, boys. Hey, by the way, a hey, shout out Roger Nangalan on, on a reel, though. Uh, left, uh, went to Cagliari, I believe, last season because his wife was getting treatment for, uh, for cancer and legitimately just moved to that club, I believe, uh, I believe for that loan purpose and now is back at, uh, at Inter. I, f I believe she's made a full recovery, so... Very cool little uh, heartwarming Nangolan uh, story to go along with the uh, with the episodia. Rule breakers Raja Nangolan gets himself out to a two goal two goal start, assist three assists from Papo Gomez, and a goal from Paulo Dybala as well. Fifteen out of nineteen dribbles completed, eleven out of eleven. Dude, I don't know, man. <laughs> Chip it. Yeah, easy. Papo Gomez. Did that go off? Wait, hold on. Did I chip that onto the top of the net? I feel like I probably deserve some XP points for that. Yeah, so in terms of total in-game stats across all midfielders, I think Nangolan's like the 28th or 29th uh, highest total in-game stat player. Uh, he is the highest total in-game stat midfielder in the Serie A. Um, and then, interestingly enough, 83 Vidal is the second highest. Look at Nangi. Nangolan. To Chucky. Irvin Lozano. Chucky. El Chucky. Den el palo. Era buena la bolera. Chucky, ¿qué es esto, tío? Chucky, wey. Recupera el balón. La política de Ibala. La política de Ibala. Nangolan. Boys. That was a FIFA 15 or FIFA 16 long shot. I mean, okay, maybe not FIFA 15, FIFA 16. We were, we were cracking them from halfway, wish we were, we were literally cracking them from the halfway line. Nice. What a silky little pass. Nangolan. Roger Nangolan. Que fácil lo está superando. Need I say more? Need I say any more, lads? A distance banger, and then an absolute jammer inside the box. Look, I got off to a little bit of a sus start in match number one with that first attempt. I thought I felt like that needed to go in. Yeah, it's it plus three in every shooting stat, plus two in every dribbling stat. I was right. Look at that, dude. Koulibaly. You can get, you can get him for 45k. Serie A, dude. You get such values in the Serie A, man. 
Algo me dice que alguien quiere la pelota. Una pelota fantástica para Bomellán. Y así le pega la pelota. Good goal. That's a good goal. That's Manlis, uh, that's Manlis being a little bit exposed. That's a good goal, dude. I mean, like, they're still good defending stats. Like, you you look at the 85 and you're like, yeah, I could use him. I could shift it. I could still shift him into a defensive role. Even without a specific chem style to address uh, defending. Sirigu coming in with another huge, huge save. Este es un buen pase. Con ella, Paulo Dybala. That is what Paulo Dybala does. 24 goals and 14 assists in 19 matches of weekend league played. You guys know I loved this card last year, but there's something on this year's card that just seems a little bit sus. Nice. There's the, there's the dribbling. There's the Dybala. The Dybala left foot. Mm. Dominando la pelota, avanza coma. No le pueden sacar la pelota 15. Costas, that's Costas Manglas, dude. Is that another two goals from uh, Roger Nangolan? Roger Nangolan with the 9.3. Two goals, doesn't provide an assist. Uh, passes completed 20 out of 21. Dribbles completed 26 out of 34. <laughs> that's the angle right there. This is the uh, plus two agility in action. And the uh, and the finisher cam style right there on Alex Tells. And then an absolute rip. In the 4 4 2, uh, specifically at, at that RCM position, this card is just absolutely fits all, you know, checks off all the little things that I want from him. The 91 stamina even gets a little bit of a, a stamina increase with the aggression. And uh, it's just a card that I'm absolutely in love with. Love it. Outside the foot shot, has it. Uh, three star, three star. Really the only negative on the card. And the only other negative, the price. It's not cheap. It's 338,000 coins. I'm going to sell this right now before I uh, do the epi. In terms of value, damn it, I got to say, you know what? He's good enough that I'm gonna. I'm not gonna give it a five. I'm not gonna give it a four. Doesn't deserve that rating. Doesn't even deserve a three and a half. I'm gonna give it a three out of five in terms of value. Uh, most total in game stat midfielder in the Serie A, and then also just has ridiculous stats. The pace increase. I mean, how much are you willing to pay for that? Uh, pace is a huge part of the FIFA 21 meta, and I think it makes sense that his price is uh, around this. However, I would say to get some exposure to this card, wait for it to come under. Hopefully, it comes under around 300,000 coins. At some point, it will. Uh, I think the sweet spot for this card is like 250, 260, given given how Serie A cards are um, relatively priced. I think around 260, 270 would be fair in terms of on the pitch performance. I got to give it a four and a half out of five. It's lacking nothing outside of a weak foot or a uh, weak foot or skill moves, but that's not how you use a Roger Nangolan card. You're, you're, this guy's a tank. He's a pit bull, uh, and you're looking to rip long shots, finish shots, uh, and just be really, really aggressive with this card. And, and that's exactly uh, uh, that's exactly how I use him, and that's exactly what I expected from this card. And he lived up to the expectation. And he's just a little bit too pricey. Let's wait for that price to come down. But uh, you guys have asked for this episode, so as I do, I deliver. But that's going to do it for the episode, boys. Smash like if you guys are. Smash like if you guys did enjoy the episode. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.